Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we are going to be doing a budget turtle setup challenge. Spring is officially here and this is actually the time of year where a lot of people start getting new pets. And a lot of you guys probably found this video because you're hoping to get a pet turtle. And I currently keep all my turtles in glass aquariums but I realize these glass tanks can be super expensive. So I just wanted to make a quick video kind of sharing some ideas for cheaper turtle setups that you guys could go with. So today we are going to be setting up a suitable turtle enclosure by spending as little as possible. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of enclosure we're going with yet. It's probably going to be some kind of like big plastic tub maybe one of those blue kitty pools i know those are super cheap we're pretty much just going to go to a couple different stores and see what we can find see what's the cheapest and hopefully come home with something pretty cool so with that being said i'll see you at the store all right guys we are here at target and i found the kitty pool section we've got a couple different colors but i definitely want the classic blue one this thing is bigger than i thought this should make an awesome turtle pond so we're going to get this and then we're going to head over to home depot to look at some substrate all right guys well i am here at home depot in the stone aisle taking a look at some possible substrate for our turtle pond and i think this is what we're going with as you can see only 428 for a huge bag of this i believe this is the same exact stuff i use in my turtle tanks and i think it looks great it's the perfect size so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag of this and we'll be on our way we have now spent $15 so far on this turtle pond. And unfortunately, it only gets more expensive from here. We still need to buy the filter, the basking lamp, both of the basking bulbs, and then the water heater. And I do want to talk about this for one second because depending on your situation, you may not need all of these other materials. We are setting up this tank indoors. Therefore, we need our basking lamp because our turtles will not be getting natural sunlight. If you're setting this up outside, you do not need a lamp. But if your turtle is a baby, then you probably should get some kind of protective netting or caging to go over the top. Also, if you're setting this up outside, you probably don't need a water heater. In that case, the only other thing you would need is a filter. No matter what, you're going to need a filter. But yeah, we're at $15 total so far. It was 10 for the pool and then four something for the pebbles. And then I do already have the filter, heater, and lamps that we're using, but I'll add those totals right now. The filter we're using today is $23. The water heater we are using is $10. And then the lamp fixture and both of the bulbs you can get as a complete kit and that costs $50. That is definitely the most expensive part of this project. And then we're also going to be using this basking lamp stand. This goes for $20. But you can definitely figure out something cheaper to hang the lamps on. Like you could build one of those out of scrap wood, scrap metal. Or if you have your turtle pond next to a wall, you could like hammer a nail into the wall and then just hang the lamps from that. So you guys can just get creative with that. But we are going to be using our lamp stand. And I will have the total on the screen right now of what this is going to cost us. And then one major tip I have for you guys is use Facebook Marketplace or other like resale apps. You can save so much money in this hobby in general. I bought a bunch of stuff from Facebook Marketplace for just a fraction of what they would go for brand new. So I'm sure if you guys look, you can find turtle lamps, bulbs, filters, whatever, and it'll end up saving you guys a lot of money. But now with that being said, we are going to start setting up this turtle pond. I am super excited to see how it turns out. And the first thing we need to do is rinse down the pool pond and then also rinse down our rocks. Alrighty guys, now that our substrate is rinsed and in the turtle pond, I want to start getting some of our equipment in place. So we've got our basking lamp stand right here. And we're gonna set that up right in this corner and that should be perfect there. Let's grab the lamps. And that should be good there. All right, and I've got our filter right here and we'll just set that about right here for now. And we've got our heater right here and we'll just place that next to the filter. And now we're gonna go ahead and start filling up this turtle pond. Alrighty guys, our turtle pond is now full. And as you can see, I also went ahead and got everything all hooked up. Our filter, our heater, and our lamps are all on. And we are almost done with this turtle pond, but there are just a few more things we need to add. First, we're gonna add in some water conditioner to dechlorinate this water. And now what we're gonna do is use some rocks to stack up a basking area right there in the middle. Just something that our turtles can sit on to bask under the lamps. And it would also be great if we can form some kind of cave under there that they can hide in. Yeah, something like that. That right there acts as the basking area and a little cave for the turtles to hide in. But I do wanna add just a couple more rocks to this pond just for a little bit more structure for the turtles to hang out around. Turtles love places where they can hang out still in the water, but they can rest and have their heads still out of the water to breathe. Like little areas like this, they can be in the water and 
and out of the water at the same time. That's what we're going for, so we're gonna add one more rock right over here. And now lastly, we're gonna add a few plants to our turtle pond. These are all fake plants. If you guys prefer real plants, you can obviously go with those, but your turtle might eat them. But we're adding in these plants not only to make the pond look better, but also just to add a little bit more cover for the turtles to hide in. A lot of you guys are probably getting baby turtles, and I know that baby turtles just love staying hidden for the most part. So we wanna give them plenty of places where they can do so. We're gonna add this bushier plant right over here by the basking area. I'm gonna add one more rock right here. And then I am actually gonna add in a little bit of hornwort. This right here is real plants, just to take up a little bit more space in the pond. And we'll move this tall one back here. And then I'm gonna put one last plant right here. And just like that, our turtle pond is done. This is a completely suitable enclosure for a smaller sized turtle. The only thing I'm a little bit iffy on is the water level. The turtle might be able to climb out of there. So if you guys are doing something like this, I would leave the water level maybe an inch or two lower and you should be good. But yeah, I'm just super happy with how this turned out. I was only setting this turtle pond up for the video. My turtles are staying in their tank. But after seeing it done, I'm almost tempted to keep it set up. And what we're gonna do now is give this pond a little bit of time to get up to the proper temperature. We're gonna let that heater work. But when the turtle pond's up to the proper temperature, I'm actually gonna let my turtles roam free in there. Just let them check it out, see if they like it. And that should be a lot of fun to watch. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later tonight. Alright guys, so it is later that night. Our little turtle pond is now at about the same temperature as our turtle tank. So as promised, we are going to take my turtles out of their tank and put them in this turtle pond just to check it out, swim around a little bit, see how they like it. So I've got our first two turtles right here. Here's our Red Eared Slider Jr. And there he goes. Dang, he looks so cool in there. But we got Toby, our pink belly side neck. And he's going to go the other way. Dude, they look so cool in here. Oh my gosh. And lastly, we have our Albino Red Eared Slider Midas. And there he goes. Right off the bat, looks like Junior's kind of hiding away next to this rock. Midas and Toby are right back there, kind of exploring a little bit. But just look how cool all these turtles look in this little pond. Look at Toby just cruising around. He's like, dang, look at all this space. But yeah, we're just gonna let them hang out in there for a little bit. We're gonna watch them. I'm gonna get my GoPro and get some underwater shots for you guys. So yeah, enjoy these shots of my turtles. So that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was definitely a fun one for me to make. And I hope this video gave some of you guys ideas or inspiration for a turtle setup of your own. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.